What's up, y'all? It's Creative We Shoot Films. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit on how to do proper audio for a dialogue between two people standing next to each other. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. So, you have two people. Let's say they're just standing next to each other. So, one is over here, and another one is over there. It's kind of simple. All right, get your boom mic. This, I forgot what this boom mic is called. I'll leave it in the description. It's a very good boom mic. So one is on this side, and imagine the other one on the other side. Now, you could, this is a shotgun microphone. It is better to do inside dialogue, more of a pencil condenser microphone, super cardioid or cardioid. It just, there's less reverb, but you could do it with this one too. If you, if you buy this one, a good one i put another thing in the link another microphone in the link that's pretty cheap and you get two but anyway so you could if you wanted to you can mic everyone off so you can have if you wanted to you could just have one mic you know for this side and a whole other mic for them all right so remember we're not talking about having the mic this is two people here and there type of conversation. That's when this works the best. Or it could be three people. But the mic stays pointing down, not pointing at each individual, because then you have to keep moving it. Keep it down and always have them do their, their audio where it's passing through the mic. No matter where they are, it's passing through the mic. It doesn't matter. They're gonna get it. They're just not off access. Don't let them be off access. Don't, the mic is over here, and after a while, the person moved over here. Again, you still hear the mic, but it's not gonna be as clean as over here, okay? And like I said, this wouldn't be here. We would lift that up. I try to have it you know, a few inches above my head. You know what I mean? And it wouldn't be here. If you're gonna mic somebody, if you're just micing one person, point it to the chest. Don't worry about their mouth, it's gonna catch their mouth. I would make sure if I could drop it even lower, I'd drop it lower. Bring it up higher. All right. You want it out of the frame. You know, you want it just about out of the frame. You feel me? So, and you don't want them to be way over here. If you hear the difference from back here, you don't want them to be back here and the mic is there. It'll still pick them up, but not like you want them to. Not with that quality movie audio that you want. So, let's do it real quick. Yo, what's good? Ah, nah, man, you know what it is. You know what's up with you? All right. Now, let's go closer. Yo, what's up with you, man? Man, I don't, man, can't call it, man. What's up with you? Hear the difference? See the mic? You gotta see it as this is the cup. This is the coverage. It's pointing down. So you you shouldn't be over here, and the mic is over there. Don't do that. If you really wanted to get creative and you really want some crazy on point, like even more, you bring it even lower. And now it's in the scene. I can tell it's in the scene because it's in my forehead. So, yo, what's good, man? What's up with you, man? How you been? Aw, oh, man, can't call it, yo. Been good, what's up with you? People tend to do it the wrong way. They'll have like, if it's a table scene, they'll put this in the middle and then just let the people talk. And it's gonna capture them, but it's gonna capture them with all the room tone and reverb. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? You, don't, you, you wanna control as much as possible, all right? You want it as quiet as much as possible. 
and you can add everything else later. So if I was to do a table, I don't have one, but let's imagine a table is here, all right? I would have multiple mics in the room, either some laughs, hidden laughs, hidden mics. There's a lot of ways to go about it. Number one rule is always have that mic as close as you can to your subject. And you're gonna have dope audio all the time, as long as you ain't clipping. Watch your, right now we're recording on an H4N. Now I also record my more professional stuff on a Zoom F4, but right now it's recording on an H4N. If you can afford the H4N, it's a great thing. Get it. I've had mine forever. Let me show it to you. I've had mine forever and it's been a workhorse. I mean, this thing been slammed around, thrown in the trunk, thrown in the bags, and it's still kicking. I thought this thing would have been dead, but it ain't, it's still alive, thank God. Anyway, so like I said, if you're doing a round table or a long table, let's say one person's on one end, the other person on the other end, two microphones, have one mic, have the other mic, use laughs, you lose, use laughs if you have to. Uh, but not like this, we would have to hide them. Um, if you only have one microphone, and that is what it is, then you just gotta be more patient with your cuts. You gotta plan your cuts better. So if you have a long room, you know who's gonna talk, when they're gonna talk, and you just gotta change the mic accordingly and make sure you film enough B-roll to cover yourself. Because B-roll, that's it's, it's very important in order to cover up any mistakes, only discrepancies in the edit or you might have forgot something, but now you can cut to something that that scene is on or somebody else's face in order to hide it and then they'll talk. Then, you know what I'm saying? You gotta plan them out. I prefer to have at least two to three boom mics or condenser microphones in my labs. I just, I'm always ready. Like I said, turn off the refrigerator, AC if you can. Um, have it quiet in the room. Also, there's never no true quiet. You have room tone. So sometime in the beginning, because you're probably gonna forget. So before you even do anything, just tell everybody to be quiet and just capture the room tone. Just like this. Quiet. That's room tone. And now you have it to fill in gaps sometimes. So it's not hard to get a good audio. Good audio is very important. It's to me, it's 80%, you know, it's 75% of the experience because people will watch a bad looking video, but they want the audio to be good. That's just what it is. Why do you think bootlegging is so famous? It's, it's so popular still. You know what I mean? If, if you can't hear something properly, it gets annoying. If you're outside shooting the scene and it's windy, get one of these. I'll leave a link in the description again. And you just stick it on top. And now, the wind, when it's blowing, I've, I've shot with this microphone and this and some heavy winds and you hear nothing. I mean, it's just perfection. So, um, this thing all in my face. Uh, so, remember to use the dead cat. I call it the dead cat. Y'all can call it whatever you want. As much as you can, go wired versus wireless. I prefer wired versus wireless. I just trust it. And also, and that's another thing, when you're doing audio, test your microphones test your cables before you go on set, before you get into to a place and you get paid, know what you're doing. It's really rough when you have to, you spend a whole day doing audio and it's messed up and you have to come back and either do ADR or you gotta shoot the whole thing over. So test it, monitor your audio. It should sound good in your ears. If 
it don't sound good, stop. Trust me. They might get mad or annoyed, but you do, you do not want to continue. And they went through the whole day and your audio is messed up. Don't do it. All right? So stay professional. Keep your audio right. Monitor your audio. It's hard sometimes because we're a one-man band, but I do it. I got the camera running. I set it up. That's why I use these a lot. You know what I mean? Um, but sometimes when people got to move a lot, I got to hit it with the laugh because I'm a one-man band. You know what I mean? But if I can use shotguns or condenser microphones, I'd rather use those. Anyway, since we're running too long, I just want to do it real quick. So, if you think that helped you, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the like button. And also, hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time. Alright? Alright, you know, this creator, we shoot films. And like we say, it is what it is. I'm out.